Yes, hello. So lately, quite a few customers are asking to store the Google uh, GCL ID as a custom dimension in Google Analytics. Uh, can be quite useful to have it available in general, as by default it is not implemented um, or it's not made available by by Google in Google Analytics. So the outcome, what we want to have is, if I have the GCL ID here, we want to get this value here, everything following the GCL ID, to be stored in a custom dimension in Google Analytics. So as step one, Google Analytics, I'm going to the admin section. And then down here, we have custom definitions, custom dimensions. And yeah, then we have here the GCL ID already created. So what I do is I just create a custom dimension. I give it a meaningful name. In this case, GCL ID as copy session. And then I click on save. So that is step one. Then as step two, we need to somehow grab the GCL ID and push it into GA. So there are a couple of ways to do it on the internet. The easiest through Tag Manager is uh, what I'm going to show you here. So first of all, you have to create a variable, which I have already set up. And uh, this we call GCLID variable. And here we want to have the variable type URL and query type, uh, the component type is query, and the query key is GCLID. So whatever follows GCLID. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Then I will click save if I, I've already done it here. Uh, so now we have that set up. Now uh, there is an additional uh, setting which we will need to take, which is the standard Google Analytics settings. Um, now here we see that we have it linked up and now we basically need to go in, edit this, and then here we have this uh, section called custom dimensions. We fill out, and then here we take the index. So um, here we see somewhere that the index was five. Yeah, so index is five. So I link that to the GCLID variable. Um, yeah, and then I can test it, um, preview it. Once I'm ready to submit, I submit, and then you will see starting um, in your reports here, in any of the reports. We can create custom reports, of course, but then you would start here. Um, you can then start source and GCLID. Now you can start using this in reports, and more importantly, uh, you could also use that in combination with other platforms like ours, where you then can have attributed revenues um, using different models, and then submit this GCL ID information uh, further on to Google Ads for your optimizations.